Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Um, we kind of just hung out at home ourselves. Um, my mom came down from up in the mountains. She lives about three hours away from us and hung out with us and, and whatnot yesterday. And um, she was headed home today, but her truck decided to break down. So we have been driving around from auto parts store to auto parts store trying to help her find and get this part that she needs for parts I should say there's multiple that she needs for her truck and uh yeah it's been a it's been a heck of a day but we wanted to just pop on really quick and give you guys an update on the third reason why we are moving out of Arizona why are we moving out of Arizona because <laughs> it sucks here well while that is true uh, the third reason is because of all the people that are moving here so just to give you an idea uh, a few weeks back when we got back from Indiana myself my friend and her husband were having a conversation about all the people that are moving here and he said that he heard a number, something like 200 people a day alone are moving out of California. 170 something of those people, I think is what he said, are moving here to Arizona. That's every single day. Now, a lot of people probably think, okay, well, you're complaining because, you know, California's blue, you know, Arizona was a red state, blah, blah, blah. Well, no. A state can only hold so many people, no matter which color you vote. And Arizona is on overload right now. It's almost like it doesn't matter where you go anymore in this state. There's just always tons and tons and tons of people. I mean, we kind of talked about it on the previous video where, you know, the crowds at the trailheads and the campsites getting out of hand, but like, just going to the store gives me such a headache anymore. Um, Ryan is on the road all the time for his job and he almost gets in accidents numerous times a day. Um, it's just... It's just become a little bit too much, especially in the last year. It just seems like everybody, every time I turn around, somebody's like, I'm moving to Arizona, I'm moving to Arizona, I'm moving from the Midwest to Arizona, I'm moving from California, that's the big one, to Arizona. And, you know, no offense to the transplants that are moving in here, but we don't want you to California or Arizona. It's bad enough as it is anyway. I mean. We're blue now, and we haven't been blue in years, I think, since Bill Clinton was president. So, yeah, just over the large groups of people. It drives and don't even get me started about the wait times when you're going places anymore. They're ridiculous everywhere you go, just because everyone is moving here. And so the lines for everything is, they're just all out of control all the time and then because everybody's moving here and Arizona is so popular right now and I'm not really sure why it's popular in the summer but because it's so popular and everybody is moving here the cost of housing has gone up ridiculously I mean people are paying you know 50 60 hundred thousand dollars more for a house that they're buying out here then the house is actually worth because people are taking advantage of the fact that everybody wants to move here. Rentals are being rented out from underneath people um, or sold out from under people because it's a seller's market right now. And so these landlords are wanting to get out from underneath their houses and sell them for top dollar. And the landlords that are keeping the houses to rent are renewing these leases and upping the rent by sometimes five, six hundred dollars. It's insane. I don't know about y'all, but I gotta be honest with you. Like, I am not ready for Arizona to turn into California with all of its people 
and all of the high prices on everything, um, just the overcrowding, the traffic on the freeways, and it's headed right in that very direction. A lot of people are like, no, no, we're not gonna California or Arizona. Well, it's already started, so what? I mean, I was literally just reading a feed on Facebook, people asking, can I ask everybody what they pay for rent for a three bedroom, two bath house? This one lady commented and said, we were paying $1,675, $1,675 for a three bedroom, two bath house, but the landlord just upped it to $2,800. That is almost double what they were originally paying. And that was literally the trend of that entire comment thread on Facebook. And I don't know about y'all, but typically more people means more drain on our resources. So water, which is already a very, very, very limited resource here in the desert during our 10 year drought. Um, more people means more buildings, which means more heat, which means it's just gonna get hotter here as the years go on. So for example, my mom today has had this huge fiasco with her vehicle and auto parts stores telling her the right thing, the wrong thing, and everything in between. And so she's actually called around to auto shops to try and see when she could get her truck in um, to have these parts replaced since nobody seems to carry the right ones. And the earliest they can get her truck in is the 13th, a week from now. She can't drive her truck and she has to work and she works where she lives, which is about three hours north from here. So due to a shortage of workers, as well as an influx of people moving here and continuing to have obviously problems with vehicles, houses, all sorts of stuff, um, the wait time to get even a vehicle in to get looked at for a transmission problem is a week. I remember when you could just walk up to a store or a shop and just walk up and drop your vehicle off and be done with it and come back in a couple days and it would be done. So to recap, the third reason why we decided to move out of Arizona is because of all of the people. More people means crowding. It also means a drain on our resources like water and food and gas. More people also means more buildings, more vehicles, which in turn means it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So come back and check in with us in a few days. And we will move on to the second reason why we are moving out of Arizona. Um, as you can recall, if you've watched our other videos, reason number five was the heat. Reason number four was the overcrowding on the trails and campgrounds around the state. And you have just touched on reason number three, the amount of people that are moving here and that live here in this state. And just so you don't have to keep checking back on our channel, if you click that subscribe button and the alert button, you will be alerted when our next video drops. And we hope to see you there. Bye.